Hello everyone. This week your teachers might want to give you a live lesson, so here's how to get ready. First, if you're using a computer or a laptop, go to teams.microsoft.com and sign in with your school email address and password. It's the same one that you would use to log on to the computers in school. And when you see this screen, click the Get the Windows App button, or if you're using a Chromebook, click on the Use the Web App instead. If you're using a mobile device, like your phone or a tablet, then search for Teams in your App Store. To sign into the app, again, use your school email address and password. Once Teams has started up, You'll have a window with some icons down the left hand side of the desktop app or across the bottom on the phone. Click on Teams on the left hand side and you'll see a team for each of your classes. There'll be a general channel underneath that you can click on to see all the chat messages for your class. Next on the left hand side you should see a calendar or you'll need to tap the three dots on the phone and then choose calendar. Your calendar will show your lessons for the week. If your teacher has made one a live lesson for you to join, you should see a join button. They'll probably also add a link for you to click on in the work setting show my homework, so you can use either. If you were to click on the join button before the lesson has started or the link from show my homework, nothing will happen. You'll see a notification box appear when your teacher starts the lesson. You can click join on the notification or on the calendar. Once you click the join button, this screen appears. Make sure your camera and microphone are turned off and only turn them on if your teacher tells you to. The lessons are recorded, so if someone misses it, they can go back to a recording later on. You still need to be sensible in a live lesson and not distract others. Once you click the join now button, you'll be put into a waiting room called a lobby. Your teacher will let you into the lesson when they're ready. Once you're in, you'll see a screen like this with some icons in the top right hand corner on the web or desktop app or across the bottom on a phone. Your teacher may share a PowerPoint or a whiteboard with you during the lesson. Follow the teacher's instructions and listen carefully. You might be able to rotate your phone screen to get a better view. Across the top right of the desktop app you'll see some icons. The first one here that looks like two people will show you who is in the lesson. The next one is the chat. In here you can type a question to ask the teacher or other students. Don't be silly with this or you might find yourself removed from the lesson. The next icon along will allow you to raise your hand like you might do in class to attract the teacher's attention. On a phone you need to tap the three dots to bring up the menu. The teacher will see that you've raised your hand and you can lower your hand by clicking the icon again. On the desktop, the three dots button will give you some further options such as changing your camera and the microphone settings if they aren't working or to go into full screen mode. Finally, there are the buttons to turn your camera and microphone on or off and the red leave button which will leave the lesson, which is also a red button on the phone. Once the lesson's finished, a recording can be viewed a little while later on from the general channel of your class team in this area here. So along with the chat, you can see what was asked. Across the top, there are some links to files where you can download anything that the teacher has put in that area, such as worksheets or other resources that you might need for the lesson. And then finally, the class notebook tab will take you to that class's OneNote class notebook, like the one that you use in computer science lessons. And that's it. Your tutors will set up a practice session for you to get ready and try it out. Check Show My Homework for the link.